Welcome back. We are riding with B Creator this morning. So I usually won't post like two to three videos in a week, but there was some stuff yesterday that I heard on the news that we gotta talk about. This is how they ride in Hawaii. <laughs> but that's the reason you're here. But I wanna talk about the stuff I heard on the news last night. But anyway, welcome to Ride with B Cray. I'm your host, B Cray. And today's topic of discussion as I drive myself to work is very simple. Is Congress the new senior citizens home? And I'm gonna say it again. Is Congress the new senior citizens home? Why do I say that? Let's take old Mitchy Mitch, your boy Mitch Connell, right? So let's go back a little bit. Mitch Connell, you know, he's speaker of, he's whatever the freak his job is in Congress, right? But he fell down a fight of stairs, messed up his knee or something, broke his hip. I think he broke his hip, uh, replaced his hip or whatever, right? But ever since then, Mitch McConnell's been having these last, these speeches, like he'd be having speeches or he's giving a press conference or whatever. And then he'll just pause in the middle. Like it kind of reminds you of if you click your computer too much and the screen just goes like this, that little thing that goes like this, like he's thinking. That's how it is with him, right? And I, I know for a fact, this can't be healthy. Like this can't be something to be like, oh, like you're like the 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 Congress doctor or the doctor on the hill or whatever they call that crap. Like it can't be. They, okay, so the physician said that he's in perfectly good health. He's good to continue on with day to day operations at Congress, right? I don't think so. Like I think that they are hiding stuff from the American people. The doctor was like, this is, he's not having many strokes or near crazy, none of that uh, health stuff like that. Granted, I understand his health is considered HIPAA, right? And and he has every right to keep all his health issues to himself. And I agree with that 100%. But there is a but to that. When you are in like, when you are in a public eye like Congress and you're making decisions that that will affect the United States as a whole, I think we as the American people should have some say so in what is going on with your health because now you're looking at your own medication. We don't know what this medication is doing to you. Are you in your right mind when you are when you are on the floor making when you are on the floor voting? We are on the floor making these making these decisions or or, or, or fighting somewhat for the rights of the American people. I, 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 okay, so that's that. Then there's this 90 year old woman. Like, I think she's like 99. And I'll put her name across the bottom whenever I find it, but it is, I, this is why people keep calling Congress the, 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 the senior citizen home because there's so many old people in Congress. Do not get me wrong when I said, I respect all my elders, and I think the elder are here for us to to seek guidance, to understand our our past, which helps which helps build which helps build our future, right? But there should be a age limit to the time you spend in Congress and the time you spend as president why did I bring up president right we're about to we're about to go into election season to elect I think it's next year to be exact to elect a new president or keep the one we have totally up to the American American people but our president is about to turn 80 years old goes back to what I said about Mitch McConnell you know, like your reaction time, your mindset changes as you get older. Like, how can you tell me TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, threads are unsafe when you don't even know what they are or you don't even use what they are because you're too old to understand how to maneuver around those apps 
and, 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 and let's just go ahead and call a spade a spade. Oh, my soul just gone. But where was I at? I really forgot where I was. What was I talking about? I was talking about. Yeah, like Biden is about to turn 80 years old, right? So how I'm not saying okay. I'm just gonna say 80 is old. 80 is old. I think by the time you turn 80, you should be at home enjoying your retirement, traveling the world, seeing what's out there, you know, doing stuff you couldn't do when you was at work. Biden can barely walk up flight of stairs without falling. I, I I believe this is what my theory is. There is so many young people that wants to run for Congress. I mean, they want to run for Senate and mayor and all that stuff. I need them to get out there and do it. I don't know how far this video will go, but I need the younger people to get out there and run for these offices so that we can, so that when, when they get into Congress, when they get into the House of Representatives, they can put laws in place to be like, hey, there is a term for you to be a senator. There is a term for you to be mayor. There is a term for you to sit in Congress. Like, it should be like the president. You should do two terms and ride your old crusty self out somewhere. And the same thing with president. I think you should be able to run for president from the time you turn 30 until the time you turn probably 80 max. Max is 80. And that's even pushing. I think 75 should be suffice enough. Matter of fact, 30 to 75. And you can't go past 75 years old after your first term. Prime example. If you're in, if you're a president, and you and on your last term you turn 75, you cannot run for second term again, and it should be the same way in Congress. By 30 to 75, you cannot be voted back in Congress after the age of 75, because there is there is real issues that's coming up in the world that our seniors doesn't know much about. Our seniors are stuck in their ways when it comes to rules and laws. How do you think we have so many issues when it comes to passing a budget, when it comes to speaking about homosexuality, when it comes to talking about race relations, when it comes to talking about you know how we, how we support and defend the United States and how we support and help other countries. That's why we have these issues because the older people are so stuck in their ways like, I don't want to help anybody or let's just be undercover racist, but we're not. Or let's just be undercover homosexuality because we don't like it, but we can't show it. The younger people have a better understanding of how we are set up as a society now. And that stuff needs to get in there. I'm telling you, younger people, don't be scared. Get out there and vote. Get out there, put your name on those ballots. Y'all didn't run for those offices. It is time for us to take over, to take our due seats in the Congress and take our due seats at the House of Representatives. It is time. I'm not saying push the, push, the, push the elders away. I would never say that. They need to move into a more of a mentorship role and get out of the decision-making mode. The decision-making mode. Move more into mentorship. Let's mentor our future leaders so that they can become great leaders so that we can continue to move on as a country. I mean, just look at Congress. They all old and crusty, man, I'm sorry. Like, I'm gonna say this, then I'm gonna end the video. I am a firm believer. By the time a person turns 75 years old, they need to stop driving. Why? Their reaction time is slow. Their decision-making time is slow. They need to stop driving. And, and I, ask my mom, I, I tell you right now, my mom does not get behind no wheel, or at least she has to. Or at least she truly has to. My mom's not 75. But still, I like long my sister there or I'm home, I would drive my mom wherever she wants to go. She wants to go to the beauty parlor, I drive her to the beauty parlor. She she, she wants to go grocery shopping 10, 13 times a day. I take her grocery shopping 10, 13 times a day. I don't care. I will not put my mom, who is now a senior into a predicament where she has to make rash decisions behind these crazy drivers who is just thinking on a one-term mind. Because, like I said, as you get older, your, your, your reaction time changes. Your mind slows down. 
And I don't think they need to be they need to be doing all that stuff anymore. Turn Congress, these older people need to shift into mentorship roles, and then more people need to step in and take over these roles. But with that being said, hey, remember, let me know in the comments how you feel about this. Because I'm really, really concerned. Let me know how you feel about this. And if this video makes it all over the world and everybody's like, man, I agree with you, Brink. I agree with you, B-Cray. You're making a lot of common sense. We need to make a stand. We need to get started. But anyway, I love each and every one of you because I'm at work now. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for all you do for your country, whether you're military, whether you're civilian, whether you have kids in the military, whether you have family in the military. Thank you for all the support you give them. Thank you for everything you do for your family. I love you all. Please like, comment, share, 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 and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.